Hello friends, today we will see how to create local repository in RHEL 8 and for RHEL previous versions like 7, 6 or 5, you can check my other videos. In new RHEL 8, older YUM is replaced by YUM version 4 which is DNF. DNF also called dandified YUM which is faster and better in performance. But uh, if you like, uh, you can still use YUM. On RHEL 8, we need to create two different repositories for directories, base OS and app stream, which are available on RHEL 8 image file. Whereas in RHEL 7 and previous version, you had to create only one local repository. So let's understand about uh, base OS repository. So all base packages related to operating systems are provided through base OS repository in RHEL 8. Whereas AppStream, all packages related to user space are provided through AppStream directory. User space packages made independent of core kernel related to package in RHEL 8. AppStream introduced a concept of modules where in a module multiple software versions can be offered for the same packages and each software version is added as different stream in module. So each module has default stream. So let's check what all repo lists are available in my system. So let's type yum repo list. Here it's showing error. It's not registered. As we are not registered to Red Hat subscription, you can also get the same result with the DNF. DNF repo list. We got same result as DNF. We use yum only in the backend. Okay, let's create our local repository from image file. First, mount the ISO image. Type uh, mount minus o loop slash iso backup rel and slash mount in my system it's already existed in your case you can add the path where iso image residing and mount it now create the required folders for uh, base os and app stream make uh, dir slash home slash base os space slash home slash app stream fine now we have created the folders now copy the base os folder cp minus i vr mount base os asterisk slash home slash base os here um, ivr mean i for interactive v mean verbose r for recursive Let me copy the app stream content also. C P minus IVR slash mount 
app stream home app stream it will take time to get copied now we can u mount the iso image u mount slash mount now we can check the folder where we have copied rel repository cd slash home slash base os find ls here you can see we have two folders available package packages and report data so let's check report data directory cd report data ls minus l here you can see repo md dot xml file so this file contain all the repo metadata it's already created and present in the same folder so we don't need to create repo using create repo underscore c on the path where rpms packages are present along with the group file so repositories are already created let's go and check packages folder also it is cd packages ls here you can see all packages rpms are available as we got repo metadata and packages let's configure our system to use these repositories for that first we have to create dot repo file under cd slash etc slash m dot repos dot d now we will create a file local dot repo and add this folder you can give any name to the file but the extension should be dot repo so we write base os name equal to base os base url equal to file colon slash slash home slash base os gpg check equal to zero so gpg check is used for signature verification from its central database so if you set the value of gpg check as one then it will ask for signature verification otherwise it will skip enabled equal to one app stream name equal to app stream base url equal to file slash slash home so here we will give whatever the path we have for the app stream and the base OS. JPG check equal to zero. 
enabled equal to one. Now save the file. Now we clear the cache. Yum clean all. and check the repo list yum repo list now you can see we got base os and app stream repo list we can also use dnf repo list We are still see the warning. So we can suppress this warning by editing subscription manager configuration file under vi slash etc slash m slash plugin conference dot d subscription manager dot configuration. So in this file we will set enabled equal to zero. Now save this file now check it again yum repo list great so our local repository is configured let's install some packages and you can see that there is no any warning sign is there now so let's install it yum install tft as you can see it's install and working fine you can use dnf also to remove the package dnf remove tft good it's removed now thanks guys so this is all how you can create it uh, the uh, repository local repository in the well 8 and uh, if you like to check it uh, for uh, other previous versions you can check my other videos thanks for watching my videos and uh, if you like uh, do subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much